There's often a lot of confusion when it comes to carrying out a periodic inspection and test. What we need to remember is that it's actually a periodic inspection report we fill out. Any testing that's carried out is supplementary to the inspection. Regulation 621.2 actually tells us that the periodic inspection comprises of a detailed examination of the installation shall be carried out without dismantling or with partial dismantling as required. Now, that tells us for a start that actually providing we've got the information we need to be able to compare results, a lot of testing isn't required. We don't need to be stripping installations apart. Obviously, you couldn't carry out a periodic inspection report unless you've got details of the existing installation with past test results. As an example, I'm, I'm going to do a, a, a ring circuit test on an existing ring. Now, a lot of people would start taking it apart and doing a ring circuit test on it. There's no need for that because if we take this top circuit here, it's a ring circuit, 32 amp protective device, wired in 2.5 with a 1.5, an R1 and R2 value of 0.29. Skip the insulation resistance for a moment and uh, we've got a total earth loop impedance of 0 0.33. If we go to the top of the page, we can see that we've got a ZE value of 0 0.08. What I'm going to do now is take a resistance value, um, ZS value in fact, on all of the sockets on the ring. I know that the maximum ZS that was measured um, on this certificate was 0.33. Providing the value I get is within 0.05 of that, I'll be quite happy that there's been no deterioration of the ring. So for that I need an earth loop impedance meter with a no trip facility on it because I know that this um, ring circuit is protected by an RCD. If I turn it on, push the button, and what I'm looking for is a reading to come up around 0.33 but within 0.05 either way. I've got a resistance value of 0 0.28, which is perfectly okay. So I'm quite happy with that. And now I'll move on to the next socket out there. I've now tested every socket on the ring apart from this last one. All of the readings have been acceptable. So I'm just going to do the last one just to see and make sure. It's very important that you do test each socket out there because when we've finished, we need to write a report. And on that report, it should say whether things are working and in fact more importantly anything that's not working. I've got a value of 0.3 of an ohm there um, so I'm quite happy that this socket outlet's okay as well. That proves to me that the ring's perfectly satisfactory and no further investigation would be required.